Grüezi YouTubers. Here is the guy with the Swiss accent again. The next mailbag arrived. But the postman came along and brought this and this, which did not fit into the normal mailbag. So let's start. Well, first, I made a decision. Dave Jones uses an Australian knife to open his mail and I'm a Swiss so I will use a Swiss knife to open my mails. Now this knife is 40 years old. I bought it when I left as a young guy to Cameroon as a radio operator for the Red Cross and it's still working. So let's start with the first package. It is really in a very, very bad shape. A lot of dirt on it. Very strange. Took also a long time. Small one. Uh -huh. There's some sort of connectors, SMA connectors. But no, they are not connectors. They have one connector. But on the other side, it's closed. So these are so-called dummy loads. They have an impedance of 50 ohms and they are used to close transmission lines. Next one. These are humidity sensors. A colleague of mine sometimes has water in his cellar and we want to build an alarm that he can go and remove it if it rained too much. Next one. Nothing in it. Oh, yes. These are TDA 7050. These are audio amplifiers. I will use them with my internet radio with the ESP8266. Next one. This is an attenuator. It attenuates signals coming from a source, like for example the NRF905 modules which I tested last time. And it will protect my spectrum analyzer. Next one. This is a GPS antenna. Those who frequently look my channel know that I did a shootout of the different GPS modules and I just wondered whether this antenna makes a difference. I think the cable is quite long for these high frequencies so maybe I will shorten it up. Next one. Again, lots of different connectors. If you start with radio frequencies, you end up quite quickly in a mess of different adapters. BNC to SMA, SMA to SMA RP, BNC to N connector, 
various T pieces and at the end SMA to MCX some dummy loads and 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 it's hard to get an overview or to keep the overview but all of them you need one or the other time do you see the difference now all the RP connectors are red so I will see them immediately that they are the reverse polarity now the SMA connectors are nicely packed and nicely labeled and in addition you need some pigtails to connect all the things together next one These are the TDA 7052. This is a second choice for my radio. Maybe I use this one and not the 7050s. Now this is a bigger one. This is an interesting thing. It is a booklet with all inductors. I have also for capacitors such a, such a booklet and I have it for resistors. These are very handy. I use 1206 components because they are easy for hand soldering even for an old guy like me. Next one is also a big one. This is a Wi-Fi amplifier. I'm not sure whether these wor will work. I read different things about this concept. I will play around and I will tell you whether they work. They should basically amplify in both direction the signal from and to the antenna and should extend the range. The next one These are another few ESP modules, but this time not the ESP12, but the ESP7. The ESP07 has the advantage that it has an antenna connector, and I can do my tests with antenna with this product. The supplier promised that it has 4 megabyte of flash as the 12er, I will check. I want to test whether the supplier was right when he told me that it has 4 megabyte of flash memory. How can you do that without soldering this module to a PCB? The guys who saw my previous videos saw that I constructed a small device to program these modules with pogo pins. I will upload a sketch which shows me the real memory of this device. I can now easily put this module to the pogo pins because they, the pogo pins run through these small holes on the ESP modules. Here is the programmer and now I switch it on and program. And you see, the module has only one megabyte of flash memory. 
not for as promised by the supplier. Next one. These are also sensors for humidity. I bought them because I want to test the difference between the two and they also include the amplifier for it. So maybe this one, this concept is better than this one. I don't know. You see the concepts are quite different. One has only two areas and the other has a distributed area. And now one of the big ones. Oh, there are two parts in it. One and another one. Let's open up. These are small Wi-Fi adapters. The advantage is they have a USB connector here and they have an SMA connector here. So I'm able to use also antennas with them. They come with, they come with an antenna. I'm not sure whether I will use this one. I might use other antennas. The second one is because I need two if I want to do tests. So these are the absolutely equal Wi-Fi Sky 980 WG. And ta ta ta, if I open them, completely different setup. That's interesting. The chips are more or less the same, but uh, the PCB is completely different. And uh, I think also that this is a different manufacturer. And it's also interesting how this one is repaired. It is really hand soldered and not very good. Actually both devices work, but I'm not convinced about the quality of these devices. Sorry. And now the last one. Quite a big one. I think I know what it is. It's a Yagi antenna for 2.4 gigahertz. Which, for example, can be connected to such a Wi-Fi adapter. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. Bye.